today's Christmas spot, we're going to be having a look at the NECA Gremlins Gizmo. This comes to us from Series 1 and features posable eyes. See details on the back. One thing I like about this card is the very... Some people have complained that the, the fact that the card is very vacant. There's not a lot going on. Um, I actually kind of like it like that. Uh, the absence of it only makes this figure this figure pop even more. Down below we've got a picture of Gizmo looking very cute. Uh, but this is Series 1. On the back of the package it says roll trackball to move Mogwai eyes 360 degrees. And down below you can collect them all. We've got Gizmo, George, and Lenny. And then I guess Series 2 we've got Daffy, Combat Gizmo, who <laughs> I, I'm really excited about getting him and Mohawk. Again, really not a lot to say about the packaging, um, but I really like it. And also down below, product development, Randy Falk. Falk? Falk? I'm going to comment down below on that. Sculpt, Jason Fraley. Paint, John Warden, Jeffrey Trapp. Prototypes, Adam Smith. Packaging, Chris Longo. And photography, Stephen Masaryk. You can go to NECA for more, NECA Real Toys. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to get this opened up, and we're going to have ourselves a look at Gizmo. There's more magic on the way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. I kept this on, and I thought this was kind of interesting. On the back, um, on the back of his head, where the trackball that operates his, his eyes, uh, there is actually a pull tag. It says remove to enable function. Uh, what I found so interesting about it was the fact that generally these are always put into place uh, for the purpose of preventing a battery from getting a charge to whatever function it's doing. The idea that they would actually keep that, put that in there to prevent the trackball from moving is very strange. Uh, nonetheless, they put it in there so that the trackball ball wouldn't get damaged. I don't, I don't know. It's very, it was very interesting. And I thought, you know what, I'd keep it in there and show you guys before we reviewed the uh, uh, the gizmo. Uh, speaking of gizmo, he just looks awesome. Uh, this isn't the first time that NECA has made a gizmo figure. Um, but the reason when, this is the only time I've ever picked up a gizmo from NECA. Uh, because I think many would agree the previous um, gizmos have not been spectacular. They have not been spectacular, and I think the biggest reason for it is it's very hard to sculpt fur uh, in a plastic form without it looking really blocky or just wrong. And I just always thought that the, the gizmo was nice, but it could have been so much better. NECA uh, went back and redid the gizmo for this wave and totally totally hit this out of the park. I mean, this figure is perfect. Um, okay, sure, there are a few things here and there that I could maybe comment on. Um, there is issues where some of the paint is not consistent all the way around. Um, you know, like on the top there, it's even more apparent, like right here, you can see there is a definite line uh, where the paint is different from itself. Um, but really, really small gripes. I mean, really small gripes for how overall impressive this figure is. Uh, let's zoom first of all into his face. You would almost, you, you look at it, you almost think that you, you've pulled the actual prop from the movie. Again, sure, yeah, you know, if we want to nitpick it, you know, the one in the movie had real fur. But this is just a perfect sculpt on this, on the fur itself. Uh, the ears are really done well. Uh, the paint is top notch. Uh, it really, in the ears themselves, they look like real skin. Uh, the way that they've done the layering there. Um, the eyes. I mean, you really feel like this thing could be alive in some real creepy, creepy way. Um, as I mentioned, the, the trackball is on the back here. It's just a simple case of moving it around. Uh, when you move it around, you can actually get his eyes to move. Hey. Now I've got, it looks like this one eye seems to catch 
but for the most part you can kind of get some real movement some real uh, excellent movement coming out of these eyes I guess the key is trying to you have to kind of move them at a slow enough speed uh, if not one does seem to offset the other but really really nice I love it um, I love it now in the way of Gizmo's articulation the this particular gremlin figure is packed with articulation um, he has what looks to be ball jointed ears so you can move the ears all the way around you can kind of have him a little more you know scolded like he just peed all over the couch and you're like look what you did Gizmo stand in the corner um, you can kind of have his ears more up if you'd like I'll zoom in a bit here he's also got the ball jointed head he can move around as well he's got ball jointed shoulders he's got a rotation in the arm it possibly could be a ball jointed arm as well he's got a swivel in the hand look how adorable those hands are can you get more can you get more adorable than that I'm gushing over this figure guys um, he also has a rotation in the legs not it doesn't seem to be as much as the as the rest of the body um, but uh, I, I think just overall this is such a cool figure uh, I couldn't have done any bit better than than reviewing gizmo before the other gremlins because um, I think he's just turned out really really well if I could give gizmo here a rating he is getting a solid 10 sure yeah paint could be a little bit better on some of the areas uh, the eyes the eyes is a good enough gimmick sometimes they do catch but I mean overall it's this is a perfect perfect gremlin toy to get and it really if they're all gonna be like this and along this top quality um, you can definitely see where they've put a lot of care and and time into making these uh, if the rest of the line is gonna be like this then count me in to be collecting the rest of this line today's Christmas spot a perfect 10 we're looking today at the Mogwai Gizmo oh Gizmo you're so cute I thank you guys for watching stay tuned there are many more magical Christmas spots happening this this uh, this month so I keep looking at Gizmo I just perfect toy thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time